a mug's game, or how to squash a lemon head. This is Pogo. Anyway, that's what he's called by his friends. Yo-Yo is one of his friends. He calls her Yo-Yo, anyway. They get along fine. Plenty of good ideas. They have a lot of fun. And in the same crowd, there's a boy they call Splat. He's a bit of a problem. Sometimes they say he's just a sour old lemon head. <laughs> Don't know just why, but he's always throwing his weight around, as if he'd got to prove to other people how clever he is. And mind you, he's not thick. He is clever, but he's such a show-off. And when he's got an audience, he has to go on showing off, just to prove it all over again. And before you know where you are, you'll get dragged into something, because it's getting exciting. And that's how the trouble starts. Let's throw that stuff on the rails. Huh? Ah, come on. It's only a game. You ain't chicken, are you? Well then. He knows you'll follow his lead, and all of a sudden, it does get exciting. Fascinating. And horrible. Stop it. This isn't a game before it's too late. Stop. Let's go back. Put things back as they were. Let's throw that stuff on the rails, he says. Well, you don't have to copy a show off. You can think for yourselves. Of course you can, so. You just say, no. That'll squash him, because he's only a lemon head. Just a show off. It's as easy as that, and there's nothing like thinking for yourself. We always think for ourselves. That's what Yo-Yo and Pogo say.